We're back again. We're talking another golf characteristic for your golf swing. Me, Amber, Team Awesome. Um, we're going to talk about chicken winging. And uh, no, we're not talking about going to Hooters and getting some food. Uh, we're talking about actually a golf characteristic usually going on the uh, follow through of your golf swing. But Amber will go from there. I'm going to have Dan step aside because this is a very dangerous thing that could occur here with the golf club. So we talked not too long ago about the back part here. Flying. flying elbow. We talked about the flying elbow back here. And now it's going to be pretty much the same thing, but on the follow through, we're going to come through like this and then we're going to get, this is what we call our chicken wing. So uh, if I'm coming down the line at you, you're going to look way like this. As you can see, it brings the club a little bit more inside. Some things that could possibly happen besides having a killer fade or maybe a shank, you might miss the ball entirely. So it's something that we'd want to check in and, and uh, see if we can't help you correct. Absolutely, and uh, I am glad I moved out of the way. I feared for my life there. <laughs> All right, so here are exercises for chicken winging. Remember, that's as you follow through your swing and that elbow comes up nice and high. She's gonna just knock me out. Obviously, I've done something wrong, um, but we have a couple exercises. One, we're gonna have a band here, and the other one, we're gonna do shoulder circles. Um, here's a big thing to remember, and you might have noticed in the flying elbow video, I said that those could be used for chicken winging. Well, those can be, and the chicken winging exercises can be used for flying elbow, so remember they're kind of interchangeable, because really they're almost the same thing, just one's in your backswing and one's in your follow through. So the first one we're gonna do is uh, shoulder circles. Big thing here is people don't take the proper time necessary to really get the most out of this. So I'm just gonna have Amber stand up nice and tall, and keep facing the camera right now, arms by your side, now, the first thing we want to do is I want you just to reach your arms to the ground as hard as you can. Good, so her shoulders are gone down. We're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades together in the back so she's actually feeling her shoulder blades move back. Then from there, we're gonna take them as high as we can. So bring them up to your shoulders, good. And now, as far forward as you can. And then back down and around. And we're gonna keep going, all right? We're gonna we do five each side, that's fine. But here's the big thing is, slow down and really focus on that down as far as you can, back as far as you can, up as far as you can, forward as far as you can, and keep going in that sort of a motion. And then you can go back the opposite way. So up as high as you can, back as far as you can, down as far as you can, forward as far as you can, and working on it that way so you can really focus on getting the biggest range of motion you can here. Because a lot of times, you can go ahead and relax, one of the biggest issues that stops people from keeping that elbow in is a shoulder blade that is actually rolled up on the shoulder instead of that shoulder blade sitting back like it should. If that shoulder blade's up here, there's no way they're gonna get their arm up. So we get that shoulder blade down, it allows the, the arm to externally rotate better. The other exercise we're gonna do is a half kneeling pull down. I'm gonna have Amber just kneel on one knee, doesn't really matter which one, here. And she's gonna grab up, you have a band, great. Um, go up a little bit higher on that band there. We want to make sure we have tension. She's just going to pull that elbow down and in by her side. So that, again, we're working on that shoulder blade. Go ahead and do it again. As she pulls down, that shoulder blade pulls down her back, right, to get in position for better external rotation of the shoulder. And you can do, you know, 10, 12 reps per side on this, depending on what you have. You can also use a cable machine. Um, there's a lot of other options here, but we wanted to show you something there. You can just attach a band over the top of a doorway. Um, and then you just do the other side. So those are your two exercises. We have the shoulder circles and the half kneeling band pull down where we're just trying to work on getting those shoulder blades to move better. So that's why it works so well with those exercises we showed you for the chicken wing, or for the flying elbow. Those are working on external rotation. These are working on the shoulder blades. Open up the shoulder blades, work on the external rotation. They work great together. So who knows, maybe you just need to do all those exercises. Thank you guys, and we'll see you next week for another one. Have a great one.